Joined now by the Xavier head coach, Billy O'Connor. First, great to get the home victory in the home opener here over the Bearcats. Yeah, absolutely. We talked about before the game, it means something to play at home and it means something to play against this team. You know, and again, that, no ill will towards them, but they're our rival for sure within the city. Um, so it, it, if you can't get juice for this game, I, I don't know what to tell you, but our guys came out and competed hard today. Down eight to two in this ball game. You put up an eight spot in the bottom of the eight or six inning, I believe it was. And you get that come from behind victory. How nice was it to get that offensive surge? It was great, you know. I mean, it was uh, it was an ugly start to the game, and uh, we weren't playing good baseball. And unfortunately, we've had quite a few games against them lately where we haven't played good baseball. So a little bit of PTSD there. But, um, you know, we talk all the time about just keep playing, you know, and, and our guys do that, you know. And it doesn't always mean you're going to win, but, you know, you give yourself a chance, you compete hard for nine innings, and that's what our guys did today. When you go into these midweek games, Billy, sometimes you have that Johnny Holstaff approach and you come in in the last couple innings and Alex Vera shuts things down for you. How important was that at the end of the game? Oh, it was awesome. And, and, and first of all, you know, Connor Bailey did a great job of really slowing things down. You know, Logan wasn't as sharp as today and not making excuses for him. He's been sick and I think that probably affected him a little bit. And then they, they got to Sauceville a little bit. And, you know, like I said, it was like, well, boy, we're we going to stop him at any point. And Connor really came in and, and shut him down and, and held the fort and allowed us to come back and, and take the lead. And then Hooker came in in a big spot and then Vera came in. You know, I mean, both those guys coming in in big spots and, and executing pitches at a high level against a good offense, against a tough in a tough place to pitch at our yard. It was, it was cool to see. You mentioned beating your crosstown rival and after going 0-2 against them last year, a tough matchup in the fall. But you come back here, doesn't start well, you rebound. It's just it's got to feel real good for you to set the tone like this this year at home, right? For sure, you know, and our guys, uh, I can tell that again, this this isn't the Super Bowl, but it's an important game to them, and it should be, um, you know. And I think they're pretty pumped to come back and get that win today. So, yeah, you know, I mean, we had some good momentum from this weekend, and you know, the first couple innings weren't ideal for continuing that momentum, <laughs> but um, hopefully, we can carry this momentum now into this this coming weekend. We've got a, some new chemistry here in this offense. What are you seeing out of? some of the new hitters in the lineup this season. Yeah, it's a deep lineup. You know, I think we can generate offense from any spot in the order. Um, and, and those are the toughest teams to play against when we're playing against them. And that's who we want to be as an offense. You know, you can't hope that it's, oh, man, this is our 2-3-4 inning. This is when we can score. You know, when it's a 7-8-9, I think we had home runs from our 7-hole or 8-hole today. And Grant had a double. Um, you know, so we, I think we've got good hitters. We've got veteran guys that have been there. They've, they've been in big spots and they've had a ton of college A-B. So, um, you know, I, I feel like we're, we're a pretty good offense when we compete like we did today. All right, Coach, congratulations on a victory here over the Cincinnati Bearcats in the home opener. Thanks, Coach.